Hello and welcome to our service of evening prayer for today, the second Sunday of Epiphany. Uh, again, I'm afraid it's not from church uh, because of circumstances, but we do hope to be there next time to have even song. So it's going to be said here from home, um, evening prayer. And I shall use the form used uh, in the Church in Wales Green Book. And so we begin with a sentence. Worship the Lord in raiment of holiness. Let the whole earth stand in awe of him. And we begin with this introduction. Beloved in Christ, we are here in the presence of the living God and of the whole company of heaven to offer to him, through our Lord Jesus Christ, our worship and praise and thanksgiving, that we may know more truly the greatness of his love and that his grace may bear fruit in our lives. We have come to hear and receive God's holy word, to seek the strengthening power of the Holy Spirit, and to pray for ourselves and all mankind, that we may be given those things which are necessary for our true well-being. But first, let us confess our sins and seek our Father's pardon and peace. And so as we gather up those sins into our minds, and we bring them to God, we confess to God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed. We have left undone those things which you ought to have done, and we have done those things which you ought not to have done. Wherefore, we pray God to have mercy upon us. Almighty God, have mercy upon us. Forgive us all our sins, and deliver us from evil. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in eternal life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Now in our service, we move on to the psalm set for the service, and it is Psalm 96, which I will read to you. Psalm 96. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Tell out his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations and his wonders among all peoples. For great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised. He is more to be feared than all gods, for all the gods of the nations are but idols. It is the Lord who made the heavens. Honour and majesty are before him. Power and splendour are in his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, you families of the peoples. Ascribe to the Lord honour and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the honour due to his name. Bring offerings and come into his courts. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Tear it out among the nations that the Lord is king. He has made the world so firm that it cannot be moved. He will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. Let the sea thunder and all that is in it. Let the fields be joy joyful and all that is in them. Let all the trees of the wood shout for joy before the Lord. For he comes, he comes to judge the earth. With righteousness he will judge the world and the peoples with his truth. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. A short prayer before our first reading. Lord God, you draw us by your beauty and transform us by your holiness. Let our worship echo all creation's praise and declare your glory to the nations through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And our first reading for, this, uh, for today, this service, is from the first book of Samuel, chapter 3. Now the boy Samuel was ministering to the Lord under Eli. 
The word of the Lord was rare in those days. Visions were not widespread. At that time, Eli, whose eyesight had begun to grow dim, so that he could not see, was lying down in his room. The lamp of God had not yet gone out, and Samuel was lying down in the temple of the Lord, where the ark of God was. Then the Lord called, Samuel, Samuel, and he said, Here I am. And he ran to Eli and said, Here I am, for you called me. But he said, I did not call. Lie down again. So he went and lay down. The Lord called him, Samuel, Samuel. Samuel got up and went to Eli and said, Here I am, for you called me. But he said, I did not call you. Lie down again, my son. Now Samuel did not yet know the Lord, and the word of the Lord had not yet been revealed to him. The Lord called Samuel again a third time. And he got up and went to Eli and said, Here I am, for you called me. Then Eli perceived that the Lord was calling the boy. Therefore Eli said to Samuel, Go, lie down, and if he calls you, you shall say, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. So Samuel went and lay down in his place. Now the Lord came and stood there, calling as before, Samuel, Samuel, and Samuel said, Speak, for your servant is listening. Then the Lord said to Samuel, See, I am about to do something in Israel that will make both ears of make both ears of anyone who hears it tingle. On that day I will fulfill against Eli all that I have spoken concerning his house from beginning to end. For I have told him that I am about to punish his house for ever, for the iniquity that he knew, because his sons were blaspheming God, and he did not restrain them. Therefore I swear to the house of Eli that the iniquity of Eli's house shall not be expiated by sacrifice or offering forever. Samuel lay there until morning. Then he opened the doors of his house, of the house, the house of the Lord. Samuel was afraid to tell the vision to Eli. But Eli called Samuel and said, Samuel, my son, and he said, Here I am. Eli said, What was it that he told you? Do not hide it from me. May God do so to you, and more also, if you hide anything from me of all that he told you. So Samuel told him everything, and hid nothing from him. Then he said, It is the Lord. Let him do what seems good to him. As Samuel grew up, the Lord was with him, and let none of his words fall to the ground. And all Israel, from Dan to Beersheba, knew that Samuel was a trustworthy prophet of the Lord. The Lord continued to appear at Shiloh, for the Lord revealed himself to Samuel at Shiloh by the word of the Lord. Here ends the first lesson. Now we will say, if you know the words, please join me, the words of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the this, this song of the Blessed Virgin, the Magnificat. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Saviour, for he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed, for he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name, and his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. He has showed strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He has put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent empty away. 
he remembering his mercy hath helped his servant his, his servant Israel as he promised to our forefathers Abraham and his seed forever glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen now the second uh, second reading the second the second lesson is the letter of saint paul to the ephesians it's the fourth chapter i therefore the prisoner of the lord beg you to lead a life worthy of the calling to which you have been called with all humility and gentleness with patience bearing with one another in love making every effort to maintain the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace there is one body and one spirit just as you were called to the one hope of your calling one lord one faith one baptism one god and father of all who is above all and through all and in all but each of us was given grace according to the measure of christ's gift therefore it is said when he ascended on high he made captivity itself a captive he gave gifts to his people the gifts he gave were that some would be apostles some prophets some evangelists some pastors and teachers to equip the saints for the work of ministry for building up the body of Christ until all of us come to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the son of god to maturity to the measure of the full stature of Christ we must no longer be children tossed to and fro and blown about by every wind of doctrine by people's trickery by their craftiness in deceitful scheming but speaking the truth in love we must grow up in every way into him who is the head into Christ from whom the whole body joined and knitted together by every ligament with which it is equipped as each part working properly promotes the body's growth in building itself up in love here ends the second lesson now we say the song of simeon the nunc dimittis lord now let us thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word for mine eyes have seen thy salvation which thou hast prepared before the face of all peoples to be a light to lighten the gentiles and to be the glory of thy people israel glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen and we sum up all our beliefs with the words of the apostles creed i believe in god the father almighty maker of heaven and earth and in jesus christ his only son our lord who was conceived by the holy ghost born of the virgin mary suffered under pontius pilate was crucified dead and buried he descended into hell the third day he rose again from the dead he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of god the father almighty from thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead i believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting amen the lord be with you and with your spirit let us pray lord have mercy upon us christ have mercy upon us lord have mercy upon us our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name and thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen o lord show thy mercy upon us and grant us thy salvation and do thy ministers with righteousness and make thy chosen people joyful o lord save thy people and bless thine inheritance o lord save the queen 
and give her counsellors wisdom. Give peace in our time, O Lord, and evermore might we defend us. Make clean our hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us. Almighty God, in Christ you make all things new. Transform the poverty of our nature by the riches of your grace, and in the renewal of our lives make known your heavenly glory. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Hocha chiog ddiw, fan honell pob dymuniad santaidd, pob canor da, a fod gwaethyd gef iawn, dyrydd waith yn y tangnefydd na all y byd a'i roddi, fy y bo i ni gan i fydd hai i thot manion, gan gwared gennau trag ofnau'n gyrenion, drau yw yn hamser mewn heddwch a thangnefydd, drwy ys i grist yn hargwydd. Amen. So following that call for peace, we pray. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord. And by thy great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night, for the love of thy only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. In our first reading, we heard how Samuel was called by God. And then in the second reading, the letter to the Ephesians, we have this image of each one of us called to do different things, each of us to do our own thing for God. As he says, some are called to be prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and some teachers to equip the saints for the work of ministry, to build up the body of Christ. So each one of us then is called to follow and serve God. We each have different gifts. Nobody is exactly the same. Nobody is like me. Aren't we lucky? But nobody is like you either. We are all absolutely unique and individual. As you know, fingerprints are unique. Nobody has the same fingerprints as you or me. That's why they're used as a security form very often online these days. We're all different, but we're all called. And we're all called to serve God in our own way. May we do so, following him, the body of of Christ here on earth, each one of us members of that body. May we be his hands, his feet, his eyes. May we speak for him. May we, in our own individual ways, do his will and his work, bringing love to this his world. And so let us pray. We pray then for the work of his church here on earth, for all those who follow in his love. May we do so never being conceited. Help us to understand that we follow Christ, not knowing and understanding everything. Lord, help us to, sh to know humility. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of the church is governed and sanctified, Receive our supplications and prayers which we offer before you for all men and women in your holy church, that every member of the same in his or her vocation and ministry may truly and godly serve you through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we pray for the work of government here and around the world. We pray for those who lead us in Westminster. Guide, Lord, we pray, all who direct the affairs of this nation. We pray for members of Parliament, that by word and deed they may promote justice, truth and peace, so that in all things your will may be done. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And we pray for the work of the Senate in Wales. We pray for the ministers there and the First Minister. For those who represent us in local authorities, in local councils. Lord God Almighty, you have made all peoples of the earth to serve you in freedom and peace. Grant to the people of Wales, as you for justice and tolerance, that we may use our liberty in accordance with your will, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We pray for our world at this time, troubled by so many things. We pray for people affected by 
natural disasters, the recent tsunami. We pray for people who have lost their homes. We remember in our prayers all those who suffer because of those who lead, those who lead by hatred and violence. May they be changed, following your love. And we pray that peace may grow in the hearts of everyone. Almighty God, grant, we pray, to all rulers, health, peace and wisdom, to use aright the authority you have, you have bestowed upon them, that doing your will they may find favour with you, through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. So then we pray for our communities, wherever we live. For those who have never heard of God's call, for those who have never heard of God. We pray that our communities may grow in harmony, where people may care for another person, where each one may put aside selfishness. Almighty God, you have taught us that we are members one of another. Remove, we pray, from among us all distrust and bitterness, and grant that seeking what is just and equal and caring for the needs of others, we may live and work together in unity and love through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So then we pray for those who are in hospital, those who are sick, almighty and everlasting God, you are the comfort of the sad, the strength of all who suffer. Let the prayers of your children who cry out of any tribulation come to you, and to every soul that is distressed, grant mercy, grant relief, grant refreshment, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And at this time we pray for our, uh, the places where we live, um, for schools and colleges, universities, for people who work in offices and shops and businesses, for those who work at home. And we offer our own gifts as we are called, Lord God, to follow and serve you. May we know our gifts and then use them for you, our Lord, our God. And we give thanks then for those who died recently, those who would remember today. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And a prayer well known. Diskni ar great da. Eith o asanaithi, fel haithi. I roi heb gafir gost. I vroidro heb ystyried y croifau. I waithio heb gaisio'r gorfwys. gorfwys. I lyfirio heb ddisgo un rhyw wobl ond gwybod ein bod yn gwneud y wachus di trwy ys i grist ein hargwydd. Amen. O oh Lord, support us all the day long of this troublous life until the shades lengthen the evening comes and the busy world is hushed. The fever of life is over and our work done. Then, Lord, in your mercy, grant us a safe lodging, a holy rest and peace at the last. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. So, may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be on you and those whom you love this day and always. Amen.